in the kitchen, y'all. We're making pad thai. Restaurant style, authentic, vegan pad thai. You're not gonna wanna miss this. Make sure you smash that like button if at any point you like this content. And if you haven't hit that red subscribe button yet, make sure you smash that red subscribe button. While you're at it, go ahead and click that bell. Join the notification squad. You're not gonna wanna miss what I'm cooking up. All right, y'all. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into this. Pad thai. Let's get it. Here's everything you're gonna need to make. Pad thai, authentic, vegan, at home. You're gonna need some garlic chives. If you can't find these, just use scallions. You're also gonna need some pickled radish right here. Um, this is sweetened, preserved, pickled radish. It's pretty hard to find, uh, but if you can't find this at your Asian supermarket, you can just omit it from the recipe. You're also gonna need some tamarind right here. This is fresh, raw tamarind. It gives pad thai its kind of sour flavor, and then you balance that sourness out with some sweet and a lot of other flavors. If you can't find the fresh, raw tamarind, you can just use this tamarind concentrate here. You're gonna need some shallot, some Thai chili flakes if you want spice. You're gonna need some lime, some crushed peanuts, and then you're also gonna need some bean sprouts right here. You're also gonna need some proteins. So these are the vegan proteins I have for today. I got some tofu right here. I got some vegan shrimp made by Bee Leaf Vegan. And I got some fried eggs made by Bee Leaf Vegan as well. If you can't find these, you can just use whatever protein you want. And if you want to put egg in your pad thai, like a vegan egg substitute, uh, you could just do that or you could use tofu scramble. Uh, simple tofu scramble throw it in your pad thai just like you would egg. But you're gonna wanna make that ahead of time if you do go that route. For this recipe, you're also gonna need some vegan fish sauce. So I got some Nuwak Mam Chai or instant vegetarian fish sauce right here. It's also vegan. And this is palm sugar. You're gonna definitely need some sweetener of your choice. I prefer palm sugar. I think it's the most authentic Thai sugar you can use. You're also gonna need some sriracha and you're gonna need some of these noodles right here. This is oriental style noodles or pad thai noodles right here. All of our ingredients are ready. It's time to get cooking. First step here, we're just gonna take a large bowl, fill it with water, and then put half of our noodles from the package into that water, completely submerge them. Let those sit in that water for 60 minutes. Next step, we're gonna make a tamarind concentrate. So we're gonna take our fresh tamarind and some water here. We're just gonna throw our water right in the bowl. Fresh tamarind in the bowl. Get your hand in there. Break this down in that water. I just kind of squeeze this tamarind and try to remove all the seeds from the flesh of the tamarind and just let it infuse into that water. Then, really simple, we're just gonna strain our tamarind. So, Y'all don't mind my dirty strainer here. I made tamarind earlier today, and it's just been used for tamarind. So, I don't need somebody in the comments telling me, oh, you're nasty using that dirty strainer. No, it's just been used for tamarind, y'all. Don't worry. And make sure we just rub this tamarind through the strainer. Make sure we get all that, that juice from the tamarind through there. And you can even take the bottom of your strainer and kind of wipe it off and make sure you get all that. And you're just going to strain this into a bowl. Homemade tamarind concentrate. Set this aside. All right, our oil's at 350 here. I got some tofu and I just cut it up into shapes like this. I'm using a particular type of tofu I get from the Asian supermarket. It expands when you drop it in hot oil. You guys can use a half block to a full block of tofu uh, depending on your preference. So we're gonna go right in the oil with this. And we're just gonna fry this until it's golden brown. As you guys can see, this tofu has already doubled in size at least. The best thing to do is to use a thermometer to check the temperature of your oil. And you're gonna wanna keep this in between 325 and 350 degrees the entire time you fry it. Once your tofu turns golden brown and it looks like this, go ahead and remove this from the oil. 
And here is your beautiful golden brown tofu. Real quick, I'm gonna put some oil in the pan here and just pre-fry my vegan eggs. I am pre-frying these eggs because I know it'll work better uh, for these vegan eggs. Going right in with these. I'm gonna hit these with a little bit of black salt just for some extra eggy flavor on there. Also, going on with some black pepper here. Let's give these a flip here. And that's it, guys. These are all done. Remove these from the pan and give them a rough chop. All right, we got everything ready to go here. Everything's chopped, ready to go. We got our noodles right here. They have been drained. All right, let's do this. So I'm going in with six tablespoons of oil here. Do not skimp on the oil. Once that oil heats up, I'm going in with my vegan shrimp. Once these vegan shrimp have cooked for about 60 seconds, I'm going in with my shallot here as well as my preserved radish. Mix this in. These shallots are starting to turn translucent. Now I'm going in with my Thai chili flakes. This already smells incredible. This looks good. The shallots are completely cooked. Now I'm going in with my noodles here. Mix these in. Once those noodles are completely coated in oil, I'm going in with my fried tofu right here. Now I'm going in with the sauce. So first, our tamarind concentrate. Right in with this. Then our palm sugar syrup, or not our palm sugar syrup, just our palm sugar dissolved into some water here, as well as our fish sauce, vegan fish sauce here, and some sriracha here. About a tablespoon of this. Mix this in. And make sure our heat is up here. You're gonna wanna crank your heat on this. And I'd highly recommend using a wok for this recipe. The wok just makes the pad thai so much better. It just gives it a better flavor. The high heat gives it a better flavor for sure. Going in with a little more sriracha here for some color. Now I'm gonna finish this up. I'm going in with my fried egg here that's been chopped up. As well as my garlic chives. If you're using scallions, go ahead and go in with your scallions at this point. And our bean sprouts here. Mix everything in here. The smell is just incredible in here. All right, this looks beautiful. Now I'm gonna go in with my peanuts here. Finely chopped peanuts. Mix these in. And 
And this is done. Don't let your noodles overcook. Remove this from the heat. All right, guys, there you have it. Beautiful vegan pad thai. We got our lime, garlic chives, crushed peanut, some Thai chili flakes right there. We got some cilantro. Oh, you see our vegan shrimp in there. Bean sprouts, fried tofu. I got some hot chili peppers there on the side. Here you have it, guys. The best pad thai. Homemade, 100% vegan, 100% authentic restaurant style. Let's eat! All right, y'all, let's do this. I cannot wait to get into this pad thai. Got a couple plates right here. Gonna go ahead and serve ourselves up, baby. You wanna serve yourself? Can y'all see the steam rolling off of it? Still hot. All right, let's do this. The best vegan pad thai on YouTube. Trust me on that. Started off with this fried tofu here. Get you a bite of this. Homemade fried tofu in that pad thai sauce. Mmm. Take this lime, squeeze it on the pad thai. Then, take some of these chopped peanuts, sprinkle it right over the top here. And if you want, a couple chili flakes on there. All right, let's get right into this. Get you a bite of this. The best vegan pad thai in the world, on YouTube, on any platform. Here we go. Get you a bite of this. Mm. It's perfect. Piece of that fried egg right there. Vegan fried egg. Another tofu. Need some more noodles here. Mmm. Wow. I nailed this. There's nothing I would change about this recipe. And I love when I can say that. Sometimes I mess up and I always tell y'all. But this time, this is perfect. Get you a vegan shrimp right here. Delicious uh, vegan shrimp. This is uh, made by Bee Leaf Vegan. It's made from cone jack root. Get you a bite of this. Okay. Mm-hmm. Chase it with these noodles. This is incredible. Garlic chive. Thoroughly enjoying this right now. More peanuts on here. Some more chili. And we'll do some more lime as well. Alright. Get you guys this bite right here. Some tofu on there. Some shrimp. Some egg. Honestly, we can't get it all in one bite. So we'll just go with the tofu and egg. And some noodles. Mmm. Mm. Vegan fried egg right here. It tastes really nice. 
Mm. It really has the the flavor of an egg yolk. Like the middle of that vegan fried egg really tastes like egg yolk. Um, maybe the texture of the egg white isn't exactly like an egg, but hey man, it's pretty pretty dang close. So I would highly recommend that product. I love that product. I make uh, egg sandwiches with vegan cheese and avocado and vegan bacon on there all the time to start the day. Mm -mm -mm. That fried tofu gets nice and puffy in that oil. And then it soaks up all that sauce. It is quite delicious. Mm. This is incredible. All right. Let's lighten up the palate here. Put some spice in your life with a Thai chili. These are hot. If you guys know chilies, y'all know that the Thai chilies are very hot here. Bite on that. Let's see here. We'll go ahead and get one more. I like the spice. I like the spice. Okay. Chew on that. Actually, you know what? We'll go one more here. Mm-hmm. All right. Three Thai, three Thai chilies I'm chewing on. Now, hit it with that pasta, or <laughs> noodles. Mm -mm -mm. Some garlic chives. This is just insanely good, man. This tastes just like the restaurant. I've been working on this recipe for a while, trying to get this right. I failed a couple times, but today I came correct. I knew what was up. I knew I wasn't gonna fail. And this is perfect. This is actually perfect. Get you another vegan shrimp here. Can y'all see that? Y'all see that? Vegan shrimp right here. Mm -mm -mm. That is delicious. More tofu with some noodles and some egg on there. All right, last bite here. Let's get some tofu with some egg. Put a shrimp on there. Oh man, this is tough. <laughs> egg, shrimp, noodles. Get some lime. Put it right on there. Get you a bite of this. Authentic vegan pad thai. incredible y'all that's it all right y'all that's it for this episode hope you enjoyed it let me know what you want to see me cook next down in the comments and you should go ahead and share this video with someone you think should eat more plants or someone who just wants to eat better tasting food you're not going to want to miss what i'm cooking up i'm cooking up the best recipes in the world 100 plant-based 
100% vegan. All right, y'all. I'll see you guys next time. Eat more plants, y'all. Peace.